Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Let's Talk About It. This is Susan Johnson, and my co-host, Dennis O'Brien, is out doing great things all over town. But have we got an amazing show for you. We're going to be celebrating and talking about Small Business Saturday, which is tomorrow. And we have November Sound here, and they are musicians, and they're going to be playing on Small Business Saturday. It's going to be part of this in front of the Jules Verne Jewelry Stop, uh, sh Store. And the gay tomb is here, and she's going to be talking to us. But before all that happens, Where Time Froze is an original song by November Sound, and they're going to play their song for us. Follow me, past where the gate stops swinging long after the stone wall was covered with vines take the flashlight from top the refrigerator i'm sure my mom and dad won't mind Next Saturday. Next Saturday. take my hand the past so overgrown let the edge of the forest be our guide the warmth i feel Beneath the moonlight bountiful Is so much more than just a summer night I'll show you where time froze On Littlefield Road Hold me now, let's stay right here Let the night pass us by Time stands still, I don't know Let's love this world we're in right now. Long ago, two kids like us were driving down the road from her father's house. And why they stopped is still a mystery a rusty relic in the forest now the shadows rest in the forest now i'll show you where time froze on littlefield road hold me now let's stay right here let the night pass us by time stands still i don't know how let's love this world we're in eyes wide open in dark of night it's just just so hold me tight with the past and time us by Hold me now Hold me now Hold me now Let's stay right here Let the night pass us by Time stands still I don't know how Let's love this world we're in Right now November Sound, Where Time Froze, an original song written by the November Sound people. And thank you so much for being on the show. And thank you so much for being a part of Small Business Saturday, which is November 25th.
and uh, right after Thanksgiving. So that's something that we need to uh, talk about. And uh, so here we are with Sarita Lopez from Jules Verne and Gay Tuma from Jules Verne. Welcome to the show and tell us a little bit about your business and what you're doing and how you brought these wonderful people, November Sound, to be part of Small Business Saturday on November 25th. Well, it was, it's a different event for us. Um, usually, you know, as you all know, we do the chocolate festival every year, but we thought we would do something different. So we, um, I started making phone calls and everybody graciously said, yes, I'll do it, I'll do it. And so I have like I have five musicians coming <laughs> and we'll be serving refreshments and, mm -hmm. um, what else are we doing? So, We're having a sale, a jewelry sale. Mm -hmm, and wonderful. So, Gay, tell looks me like where. It's like a live concert. And tell, <laughs> tell us about the address. Where are you on Main Street? So, people listening can, uh, not that we don't know where you are, but we know, tell everybody, because there may be people who are just in town brand new. On the block between Quinnebog College and Liberty Bank, 723 Main Street. 23 Main Street and uh, right across okay. from the radio station. Yeah. <laughs> Very conveniently located yes. for the show today, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I just want to say hi to November Sound and say thank you so much for being on the show. And uh, how long have you uh, had your, your, your group? <laughs> so we started our band in 2014 uh -huh. um, with our son, Will, Will mm -hmm. Root. Uh -huh. And uh, we've been playing at vineyards and restaurants and private events and all kinds of festivals ever since. <laughs> so we're thrilled to have you here on WILI Radio. Uh, and thank you for your great music and your beautiful song. And I think it has a great message. Very thank nice you. message. <laughs> yeah. Very, very good. And I just want to say that we have uh, here on video uh, some wonderful jewelry that's been made by Sarita Lopez at Jules Verne. So tell us a little bit about the jewelry that you have here. And on, on, uh, on first, on uh, we have uh, Gay Tuma. <laughs> well, uh, please go ahead, tell us about that. Well, the necklace that she's wearing is actually a piece of beach glass that her family collected mm -hmm. years ago. Montauk. How many years? Montauk. Mm -hmm. So many years ago. And so she wanted me to make it for the jewelry store. Mm -hmm. And so when I made it for her, I'm like, why don't you just keep it yourself? <laughs> so <laughs> it surprised me. And I didn't know what she was doing with it. Yeah, <laughs> she let me just have free will. And I just, I made that and she wears it all the time. So I, I'm going to show up for the camera. Oh, yes. So let's just take a peek at it and you can show how... How amazing that is, and that yeah, I can zoom in. Okay, yeah. yeah, very, very good. And so that is some of the stuff that you can do at Jules Verne. You can have mm -hmm. uh, jewelry Excuse made me? from things, treasure Excuse pieces me. that you have. Uh, and also, I think that you also were over here with Melissa Rude. Yeah, and you made this beautiful. Uh, here. Yep. Talk about so that. Melissa, you want to stand here? <laughs> so this one, so Bill always comes in and supports us We're and he's <laughs> right. Very great customers. And he just lets me do whatever I want. So I, this in particular is called a wire wrap piece. And so I, I actually did it by hand, of course, and it says sing on there and it's wire wrapped around an amethyst crystal. And I just winged it. I just, whatever I, my energy wanted to do, that's what it did and it kind of swirls and it's actually reversible. So you can actually, she can wear it both sides. So that took me till two o'clock in the morning to do. <laughs> my eyes, I was like blurred. I couldn't really see anymore. But I was like, I need to do this for Bill. <laughs> you know, he so he has really great taste. Really so that was one, that's actually one of my favorite pieces that I made. Sometimes I look at it and I'm like, I can't believe I made that. <laughs> so that's wire wrapped. And what Gay's wearing is actually um, silversmithing done by a torch. Wow. And we also yep. sell vintage. Melissa's wearing a vintage ring. That Well, okay. it's a reproduction. Yes. Please, mm -hmm. yeah, please show that to the camera. Very special piece. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. And that was also made by you? No, that's actually a reproduction, antique repro reproduction. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't made by me. Something that we ordered. Oh, mm -hmm. so, you, so you can do ordering uh, yeah. for oh, yeah. antique reproductions, and people can ask you, hey, uh, I like this picture of an antique piece of jewelry. Uh, how about, how about, can you get that for me? Yep. Is that you how you do it? You certainly find it. Well, we have certain companies that just specialize in mm -hmm. antique reproductions. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And so this is uh, wonderful. So we have the Small Business Saturday with music, with jewelry. And, this, and uh, go ahead, tell us about that. This is a special one because that Another was made by the original show the, owner uh, of... Show the camera. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the original <laughs> owner of Jules Verne designed this braid and made that. And mm -hmm. then... So I learned on the job 
as an apprentice. Then I started making my own, so I made that one. And then the, this is one that I reproduced from an original that I lost from Africa. It's got two pointed sides. <laughs> So we do a bunch of stuff. We do yeah. custom work, um, jewelry design. If you see it anywhere, just bring it to us and we could try to recreate it. Uh -huh. We do jewelry repair. So we work in silver, gold, and platinum. You know, just a wide range. So if we can do it, we'll do it. If we can solder it, we'll solder it. <laughs> so <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah, in the past a lot. So it's saving me uh, from difficulties. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. So tell us a little bit about... Uh, Who's going to be there on oh. uh, Small Business Saturday on November 25th? Um, well, I don't really know Nanette Adesso, but her best friend I know, Helen Scanlon, she mm -hmm. suggested, uh, she's a fiddler. Nanette mm -hmm. is a fiddler. Mm -hmm. We have, she's opening. And then we have um, Jeremy Haddad. He's known around this area. Mm -hmm. He plays songs I, I know the lyrics to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He, and November Sound does also. <laughs> Not your own stuff, though. I don't know those, but. Then we have Mike South. He's been in the area playing guitar for like 50 years. He rebuilds guitars and uh, makes and repairs them. He makes them and repairs them. Then um, we have Patty Tewitt. Of course, everybody knows oh, yes. Patty Tewitt. Yes, we love Patty too. And that's that's our list. We're yeah. having a concert. Bill and Melissa, of course. And then, of course, Bill and Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. from November yes. Sound. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. Excellent, excellent. So moving right along, we want to just talk to Kim Cash, who's here from Bliss Marketplace. All right, Kim, yes. thank you for being Hello. here today. And uh, tell us yes. a little bit about Mar Bliss Marketplace and where you're located and all the different things that you do there because you do a variety of things. And that's we why do. you call it a marketplace. Right, exactly. Thank you for having me on tonight. Sure. Us, Bliss Marketplace. Good to have you. I do want to start with that. I got my wedding ring at Jules Byrne. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Wedding yeah. bands. Nice. Love Jules Byrne. Uh -huh. <laughs> Since I was very young, mm -hmm. I have a lot of jewelry from you. Um, okay, so Bliss Marketplace is located on 34 North Street. Um, we are where the lily pad used to be located and also Clark's Restaurant, mm -hmm. which I used to waitress. <laughs> I used to go there, too. Dude, and yeah. We love the Clark's and uh, also moving along to all the different businesses that have been there. I, and, exactly. of course, yours as well. But you do a lot of different things there. We do. So I do <clears throat> mainly the resale clothing part of it. And Joe, who's here with me, does the record store, the vinyl record store, mm -hmm. Willamantic Records. We also have a lot of different jewelry makers um, plants. We have Cad Marshall Framing, who does framing, and she came with the building, kind of. We bought the building in 2019. Uh -huh. um, Tough year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have, what else do we have? So many things. Oh, so just so introduce incense. Joe. Yes. Joe Malinowski, who does Willamantic Records, and you've moved over there to, uh, to uh, North Street. Yeah. So, yeah, that's wonderful that you're there. And I think that there's probably a really great synergy when, you're, when you have all these different things going on in this one place. Oh, it's worked out great. Uh, uh, um, there are, um, Kim was telling you in her travels, she's come across a lot of um, secondhand, you know, uh, consignment shops that have uh, great clothing and also records. So it seems to be uh, uh, mm. a market for that. Yeah, there's a trend towards that that mm -hmm. I didn't realize. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, yeah, we have yeah I think when you put a lot of different things together that are specialties, like the records, like clothes, uh, like uh, framing, the framing is great, uh, you know, an opportunity for people to get things done there and then have it tailored to the put it or whatever it is that you want to have done. I mean, it's uh, mm. very good instead of some something that's, uh, you know, kind of mass produced. Exactly. And all of our vendors, we have over 16, uh, we're all local. Mm -hmm. So it's a bunch of local businesses, which is great. Very good. And, and uh, so you're going to be celebrating Small Business Saturday on November 25th, too. Yes. And tell us a little bit about what your vision is. Uh, well, we are hoping. We do work with Nanette Adesso quite often, so I think she may. Yeah, she's great. You're going to love her. Um, she told us she was going to play for you and may scoot over and play with us for a little while. Um, Joe often has a g great lineup of live music. I'm not sure. Are you planning to? Um, I think, think yeah. Bill Dougal may be playing. Okay. Um, I think that might be his caricature of Wayne Norman in the corner. Oh, but really? he, he also plays music. 
Oh, um, excellent. So yes. he, he may be there that oh. afternoon. Oh, that would be wonderful. And that's I want to have him on the show, too. And uh, uh, that would be really great to have him. Uh, tell us a little bit about him and how you're connected with him because he's done some wonderful things. I was at the Senior Center just this last week, and he was there teaching art lessons to people there. So he's yes. done it. He did a great caricature of me as well. So I'm he very is. thrilled oh, with that. <laughs> I, 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 th I think he, 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 he was uh, actually recognized as a Connecticut art hero last year. Um, from the, the State Arts Commission, a and uh, he, he plays music in all kinds of settings for, for, for kids and for seniors and with a, a tailored program. Um, he, he has a whole album all about uh, Willimantic that he uh, made with uh, old 78 records, and he, he put new lyrics on top, uh, telling the story of, of the thread mill and, and uh, uh, people coming, uh, the, Various waves of uh, Im Im immigrants that have, that have uh, found Willamette and made, made it their home. So he's a great musician and a fantastic artist. Yes, he is. He's done amazing work, and uh, we're we're on the verge of having him here on the radio show. But we want to do a small business Saturday uh, first for November 25th, and uh, we make sure that everybody is recognized for all the things that they do, and. Um, uh, so we want to make sure that we get more information from you about sure. all the different things that you're doing there. Um, how is it so yeah. people will bring their records to, um, to Joe, mm -hmm. and how is it that you uh, take them in? What is the process? Oh, so uh, people call me and make an appointment, and uh, I meet them either at the shop or, or at their house, and, and um, you know, bring in records that, that, that uh, a, lot, a lot of college students are looking for, for, for used vinyl. Mm. Um, so a lot of live records that, that people are no longer playing, a um, uh, younger crowd is picking up. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. Mm. I've got stacks Quite of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 What about the clothing? How do you bring the clothing in? So the clothing's a little different. Uh, with Joe's, if he isn't there, there his phone number's posted so that they can make an, a, a private appointment. With us, you don't need an appointment. Um, there's someone there for the clothing every single day, and we're open every day but Monday. So mm -hmm. you can come, including Small Business Saturday. Um, so what and is the process? Though? The process is you bring in uh, approximately 20 pieces of clothing or less and jewelry, mm -hmm. and um, then you'll fill out a contract. Right now we're taking, it's always seasonal. Right now it's winter, fall, a little bit winter. Um, clothing has to be pretty much either brand new or gently loved, um, and then we will offer you a percentage and um, we take it in, we don't do it on the spot, and then once we go through it, everything is itemized, and then we give you an offer, and if you approve, we will give you cash right then. It's mm -hmm. not like consignment where you have to wait for it to sell. I or see. you can do store credit. Oh, and so could people just donate instead of looking for re reimbursement? We don't do donations. There's a multitude of reasons why we don't. We're very appreciative that people would like to do that, but we will lead them towards the right place that we uh, feel that would be great for them to donate. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So it's people who are looking to get a return on the uh, yeah. on their on their clothing, or that, bring it back into the store if they want to shop and they have some things they want to uh, uh -huh. pass along. Then they can take that money and turn it into uh, buying something, something else. else. Yeah. I see. Oh, very good. So that way, and yeah. so, and you have all different types of clothing, I would suspect, but you're looking at winter. Do. What do you do with the leftover summer stuff? What do you do with that? We do a big sale, <laughs> and we try to move most of it along, and then we end up donating uh -huh. most of it. Okay. And some special pieces we may keep, especially at the end of the season where they don't move, but yeah. for the most part, that's what we do at the end. Uh -huh. Yeah. Very but we do have vintage, we have contemporary, mm -hmm. we do a bridal, and we do tuxedos as well. Oh, yeah. how And wonderful. that's one of the specials we're doing on Small Excellent. Business Saturday. So is uh, so I'm going to ask you this because I think that says tuxedos. Some people don't want to keep the tuxedo. They just want to rent it. Is that possible? Yes, that's what we do, renting. Oh, excellent. Right. And what about gowns? We rent those as well, oh. or you can purchase. And shoes, right? right? And shoes, All yes. Right. A lot Whoa. of shoes. <laughs> oh, now you're right. making my day. <laughs> 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 I got gowns and shoes that I could trade oh, for rentals. Oh, there you go. <laughs> back at, you know, because you're always like, oh, I wore that at the last event. And right. it's like, you know, it's not like anybody's going to remember I wore that, I don't think. There might be right. somebody. But. <laughs> or, or pictures. Oh, they got, they, oh yeah, the pictures. The pictures. The pictures. tell it all. And they say, yeah, well, what you thought was that? Because <laughs> <laughs> you have the same dress on every time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We 
we are going to ha uh, come uh, have the sponsors help us out here with the cost of this show. And we will be right back after these messages. This is Susan Johnson. I'm here with a wonderful group of people. And we are going to let you know all about Small Business Saturday on November 25th here, right here on Main Street in Willimannock. Hey, welcome back, everyone. And I'm going to just start off again with November Sound. And now that I know... Say to me you want to tell a secret Say to you I'm big, the truth I'll handle it Say to you it's best you open up to me Say to me you can't give up your identity Now that I know what I know I still do the same without you Now that you know but you know, will you still be the same about me? Wait and see. Till now I let go of the past and the one who runs and stops. Well, I thought I'd feel the same, but now I think I love you more now that I go. Oh, I know. Say to me, you're undercover in the day. Say I'm not a morning person anyway Say to you your secret's always safe with me Say you'll never interfere with destiny Now that I know what I know I still hear the same about you Doesn't matter what I know, what I know, now that I know what I know. we can expect on November 25th for Small Business oh. Saturday. And I just, uh, one of the things I didn't uh, mention is the time frame. What times are all the, all your businesses going to be open? What time do they usually open? Is there any different time? Uh, we start, we start with... Uh, uh, well, Jules Verne is open from 10 to 5 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. However, we will start at 9.45 a.m. on November 25th to start off the shopping small with music. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah. Very good. Very good. And uh, what about, uh, we're going over here to Kim Cash at Bliss Marketplace and Joe Malinowski. What about your time frames? 
We'll be open 10 to 6. We're open 10 to 6 every day, um, except for Sunday 11 to 4, closed Mondays, mm -hmm. and that day 10 to 6. Mm -hmm. And any uh, anything special in terms of uh, will there be sales? Uh, we could start with you, um, Kim. Sure. Yes, we will be having um, a lot of different sales. There will be certain vendors that will be there that day, either ones that are already in the marketplace as a as in addition, some other vendors will be coming, too, and they usually have special deals. Excellent. And Joe Malinowski, uh, what about you with uh, Willamantic Records? Um, yeah, I, I, <laughs> um, it's already for, a great yeah, deal. Yeah, it's already a great deal. <laughs> uh, for the 25th, um, I don't have anything planned yet. We're doing, uh, uh, Bliss is having uh, something on December 9th as well, uh, um, again, with, with several guest vendors. And, and I may have more music then. Um, I also have music tomorrow. Excellent, excellent, very good. And okay, we want to just ask uh, Gay Atuma and Kim uh, and Sarita Lopez about Jules Verne and any special deals and bargains. Uh, um, we're doing a variety of percentages depending on what it is. And uh huh. So you have some sales going yeah, on as we, well. So yeah. it's a good good chance on November twenty fifth for mm -hmm. for people to do that. And uh, and we are you know and we're just excited that this is something that's happening on Main Street in Willimantic, and uh, tell and also in the downtown business area. And uh, so tell right. us a little bit. I, I think that maybe the food co-op might have something to offer as well. Mm -hmm. And something that we actually wanted to add on as far as Jules Verne is that we do support local artists. So if there are artists, whether do they do wire wrapping or any type of metal work, you can come in and we support them and we can have your pieces on consignment. So that's something that we offer as well, just so they could be noticed, recognized, and things like that, because they may not have a space for that. So we do that as well, just to make that announcement. And starting December 1st, we will be open seven days a week, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 till six, Sunday and Monday, 11 to four, so it's just gay and I. So we'll just be two little elves, <laughs> you know. <laughs> have a cot, right? Have a cot in the back room, <laughs> sleeping, <laughs> you know. So hopefully Bill won't come in the day before Christmas and want something from me. <laughs> we have people Christmas Eve coming in up until five o'clock, and they want me to pull everything out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Get there earlier. That's you what happens. To go to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, those are the kinds of things because I think that so many people work so many long hours these days that it's uh, hard to get out there and shop. And but we're lucky we have local businesses right here, right here in Willimantic, right here downtown, where people don't have to go far, mm -hmm. and they can uh, they can come right downtown and find wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Wonderful, uh, all kinds of things uh, for people, uh, art and uh, jewelry and clothing and music. Ceramics. And ceramics. Because Spiral Art mm -hmm. Studio, owned by Daniela, mm -hmm. she actually will be there all day as well. Okay. So she'll be having things going on there. She actually teaches classes as well for Quinnabog and Eastern. And so she has also enameling classes that she does on some Saturdays and her and I actually are going to collab we haven't put this out there yet so you guys know now oh breaking news breaking news breaking news, breaking news. jewelry and pottery together correct tell me about that we're going to work together in about a year from now I'll be teaching metal smithing class there mm -hmm. silversmithing class there so that will be out there you know for me to teach people who are interested in it who want to explore, maybe never have done it, or just want to add on to what they already know. So that will be about a year from now. So that's to look out for that. So two artists working together to take over Willimantic. <laughs> I love that. I love that because this is an arts and entertainment district. That's what we are right here. We designated that more than 20 years ago as an arts mm -hmm. and entertainment district. And now it's coming to fruition.